so guys we need processor yeah guys we need processor cutting up the the uh the rabbit as you can see in the previous video how we clean it and so on and uh to some people while we was cleaning it i get one or two comments that it it disgusting or whatever the case may be but guys this is very good meat is a pest in certain parts of the world so they they kill it just like and guys it's just like chicken i mean look at it as you can see we cut up some here already all right we cut it up small very small so that it will be it, 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 it would be able to marinate properly in the seasoning and it, it you know the smaller the meat the better so today we might might curry still we might curry guys not sure yet still thinking about what we're going to do here so nice lovely rabbit meat cooking we're going to cook this cutting up right now As you can see lots of meat so guys stay tuned as you can see, I'm doing the cutting up, so I can't really tape. Uh, so I'm going to deal with this next half. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. Lovely meat. guys you see the rabbit now cut up here so we're going to squeeze some some lime now people just use some just use lime some use flour you know it all depends but we're using lime today guys so everybody has different belief they say lime to shrink the meat but guys i think lime is the best thing to wash meat it, it, it takes out all the freshness from this so no vex it my guys but it's all good love you all Stay tuned. So guys, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take some of the slime and squeeze it into the the uh, rabbit. So stay tuned. So guys, there we have it, two limes. Just put it straight now, okay, all the seed going into that meat, that's very bitter. So, this seed is going to grow again, so we'll get every seed as a tree. So guys, you need to do this. Don't waste it, just plant it back, lay it dry a little bit, the same seed. And look at how many trees you're going to get, and one tree could grow up to a thousand limes. So, let's not waste it. Stay tuned guys. Lime in the rabbit. So guys, as how we had the lime juice in here, I don't give it a turn up guys. So this marinating for about 3 minutes already in here. Uh, it's smelling limey and nice. Um, no fresh smelling. Uh, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to boil this meat for about 4-5 to five minutes in some boiling water. Guys, they're just to get whatever little you know this is rabbit is a, a, a meat you know it have a little a little ranky kind of taste but very tasty when you cook it properly so no means uh, uh, uh anything it, it is actually it's just like chicken it really top eye line so we're gonna try it see how it goes just give it a slight little boil Okay, add some salt to this. Guys, my whole hand have rabbit meat still, so excuse me if you see any. <laughs> it's all good. So we 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 um right now we we boil in this with some salt and lime. Get up all the you see this little white thing all on top here. We wanna boil out. We boil in it real nice, so it'll be tender, lovely. Different way in cooking rabbit, guys. So guys, you see why we? I just prefer to boil it, just because uh, you know this uh, thing. But guys, the meat, 
It's going to be very tender when it doesn't boil, guys, and then season here after this. Wow. So, guys, when you see this sort of froth like this here, you don't know um, this is time for it to strain out. This is where I was looking for out of the rabbit. If you ask me why is that, I really can't answer it, but guys, just this is how I know it to do it. So, stay tuned, listen to a little music, having fun on the cook boss. Don't know. So, guys, this is the, the rabbit that just boiled. You can see steam still coming out. Look at it. Alright, we boil it and strain it for like five minutes. You boil it, not too long. You know, you get the meat nice and, you know, uh, clean nice meat now sterilized time to, to wash back with some flour here now and season stay tuned You see our ants running across the maggi. <laughs> yeah, come here. I would do it just now. Wow, guys. Maggi is one of the top brands in Trinidad. Don't know. Maggi, big up to you. You could really make up what taste and smell great. Saffron Let's go and wash out the tail of saffron flour Like if it's smelling fresh or anything, it just smells like, like normal meat. Nothing, no rank, nothing like that. Everything washed out very clean. So, done. Now. So, guys, I use it. I use it, Maggie here. Maggie, top line, top eye line brand in Trinidad, best seasoning. So, as you see, this is the first season we put in tough meat, so we're going to put in all this. Pimentos, garlic, bird peppers, freshly picked pimentos, and a little small amount of onion. So guys, there we have it. Freshly chopped uh, garlic, onions, uh, bird peppers and pimentos everything roughly chopped guys you see the bird pepper here now this bird pepper very healthy it's good for for, for wind it's good for now what is good for beer it's good for your, your whole your whole digestive system and don't do what the big pepper does right guys so you need to get some in this and in my previous videos you see that we have a big tree so you don't know it's all about cook boss blazing up the dance stay tuned saffron they call that turmeric too turmeric yeah my father tell me turmeric saffron and what is saffron good for I think that they have it in all days. They have it in all medicinal and things. Very good for the heart. Yeah, and your heart and... Yeah, and it cleanses the system. I think it's good for your head. As all 
Moses e, uh, Western, e, e, East Indian would know. Harry good for everything. You season meat, you could cook, you put it in dal, and then again, well, it's a big option when it comes to, like the bride, when you have to marry in Hindu wedding, they always harry them and, and so on. They say, cleanse the body. And as you know, well, we have called it, it's a turmeric, you have a, you, you know, it, it, it's a whole medicine, you know, in general. Good for the health. So, Darius, what is good for? What is this? Well, as we done say already, mm -hmm. it is so medicinal in a sort of a medicine. Right. But this, in my hand, is you could call it a plant. If you plant this, uh -huh. you won't believe how this would really start to grow. Okay. And if you have it in your backyard, it will grow very easily. Right. But you see, you, and this, this is, one, this is where this they is make the raw hardy. This is the green one that you now dug up from the right from the soil. Right. But this have to dry, and right. then you pound it. But then we have the powdered form as you have already seen a while ago. Right. And this, exactly, the fruit we dealing with. And this will turn into powder, that is when it's manufactured and so on. Right. But this is good even though you drink it, you, you, you boil and you drink. Right. You get lash and all that, it's good for bless and so on. Clad and blood and thing? Yeah, once you, you right. could, and, and, and it's good if you could take a little dose every month. Right. From small go right back but up to your old age. Like how this is here, you could cook with this? Um, well really, it, 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 you could do it, but what sense? And then you could scrape it and then you could use it in one of those small grater. Right. And grate some if you don't have the, the grind one. And the grind one don't pass in machine, right. which you know. We always know you always have what you call uh, kind of a different additional to the hardy. Right. But, but this, this is, is the real, real, real right. thing. Right. This is what you plant this. You yeah, plant yeah, yeah. This, this, right? is, this is what we just plant. Right. So yeah. guys, you can hear it from the best of the best. This yeah. is my daddy talking here. Yeah. So, that is original stuff. Yeah. Don't know, guys. Hardy, saffron, original stuff. Boom. Don't know. Cook boss. So, guys, we curry stew in this today. So, this curry no, he, he, is. He this curry is. Um, no, 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 this curry. No. Go ahead. No. I can trade in. This curry is. No, what curry is this? Portion, this is. No, no, no. Goat and duck curry. Right. So, you can see, adding in all. And, no, and no, guys, no, this no, is no. The, the normal one here. We don't put any duck and goat, so we are adding in two different. The duck and goat is a strong, a stronger curry. It it have a, um, a, 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 it's a stronger thing for more tough meat. So we adding in both curries. So we are gonna curry to just sit you guys. And guys, this have shadow many everything in it. Sorry that uh, I missed a little part of the video, but there's no no problem, no love loss. You could use seasoning at your choices. You could put how much spice you want, how much salt you want. But basically, this is how it is cooked. We style a rabbit. Don't know. Only cook boss, Trinidad, Deep South, Point Four Ten, West Indies. For those who don't know, the Caribbean, very warm island, beautiful place. Lovely beaches. This is a pot for the beach. Completion of the seasoning for this rabbit. Wow, guys, what a long video! So, we're eating a rabbit with dal and brown rice today. Yeah, brown rice. Right, brown rice. So, Papa, so is a little top here now. Blazing up the place. The goat in the dal. Goat in the dal. So that's the goat, that's the goat. So, well, is hope you guys good. know what that means, but don't know, it's all about cook boss on the inside, blazing up the place. Look at that, look at that, look at that, huh? look at that, it's frizzled to the zero point, yeah. That is dull, but we ain't chunky that yet. Huh? Right. We got a chunky that, we whole green dull. So guys, this is part one of the video. You can see the the uh, the, um, the rabbit well seasoned, done boil, and guys, stay tuned for part two of the video. We're going to chunk it, this, my daddy. Are we making a show for cutters? Don't know.